We got married in 1987 and moved to Nashville here about that same time. So we kind of settled into just a regular, uh, at least she did, into a regular everyday existence here. Started working at a bank and that sort of thing and getting away from doing theater at the time. It wasn't until the end of 1990, when I was suffering severe burnout from working in the corporate world, that Curry enrolled me in Watkins Art Institute in Nashville. She really discovered, I think, what was what was her calling when she started to uh, to spend more time with art. She was always working on things like uh, fabric art, but. Uh, I, I urged her to, to take some formal art training. Everything changed in 1994 when I was diagnosed with ALS. Well, we were both just quite devastated by the diagnosis. But I think that the idea that she had that type of an illness uh, really took her spirit away as far as doing any art. And, and, the, and also there was another thing that sort of took over at that time, and that was uh, Daniel was... Um, uh, entering the picture. I mean, we were trying to have him for years before that, but when he came, when he just showed up, literally a day after the diagnosis, it was, it was a miracle. And uh, and I think that Erin took that <laughs> as a sign, as a miracle that that she was intended to 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 live. And Daniel is her primary reason for for living, for being here. She takes great joy in everything that he he does, and she wants to be there for as many of those things as possible. However, a, a few years later, as Daniel was getting a little bit older, she discovered the art on the computer. And even though she hadn't done anything, even when her hands were still usable, she hadn't done any art for several years. When she discovered the ability to do it through the computer, she was ready to do it at that time. The only difference between you and me drawing on the computer is how we move the mouse. When I move my eyebrows, the switch starts a quarter-by-quarter quarter scan of the 128 keys on the face of the liberator. Contained within those keys is a directional grid with which I move the mouse. It's no hardship to work at my computer, it's my studio. But if you're asking if it's frustrating to only be able to do the computer art medium, I would have to say no. Certainly I miss working in watercolors and acrylics, but I feel lucky to have this visual outlet. For me, the challenge is to stretch the medium as I grow as an artist. Big Wheels Keep on Turning was my first professional piece. It shows a woman in a wheelchair out and about on the streets of the city. She refuses to accept the mantle of invisibility that so often goes hand in hand with disability. The upward perspective gives the wheelchair power. So instead of being a symbol of her weakness, it is the means of her empowerment and freedom. Breathtaking Metamorphosis is one of my favorite pictures, for the reason that it is entirely autobiographical. I depicted myself as a butterfly kite. The string is attached to my neck, and the other end is held by my husband Curry on the ground, while our son Daniel looks on. I tried something different with the grass. Before ALS, I used to love creating pictures out of fabric. It was painstaking work. If you look closely, you will see that the grass is woven with many colors. Believe me, working with the fabric was a breeze in comparison.
Naturally, I'm pleased to see my work connecting with people. Art, like theater and music, doesn't achieve its full potential until it is shared. Of course, my family has always been a big inspiration for me. I am especially inspired by the power of art to communicate. Spontaneous verbal communication is very difficult for me, so I use visual images to communicate my thoughts. Art is also my way of remaining visible to the world.